Hi, this short video will show you around the Moodle environment we're using for the Teaching Online Open course. When you've arrived at the course site, the first thing to do is log in. If you prefer, you can visit the site as a guest, but you won't be able to contribute to the discussion boards, so do create an account and log in. I'm just going to scroll down this list of courses. Yours hopefully will be a lot shorter than mine to find the course and click on its name there. Once you're into the course, you'll see the tabs across the top of the screen for each topic. The full contents of each tab will only appear a week in advance of that topic, so for this video we'll look at the inducting tab because that's where the course starts. This panel down the side of the screen appears in all the tabs, and you can use it to find the discussion topics that are active throughout the course, like for news and cafe spaces. You can see the all of the discussion boards on one page if you prefer to browse them that way, search the forums, get the list of participants, and see the things that people have posted to Twitter using the course hashtag, which is 215. In the main content area for each week, you'll find the week's title and dates, and then a short text description of the week, or one or more videos introducing the week's content. Some weeks have webinars, and you can find information about that here, including a link to more information about our online class and environment. Next on the page we have the activities for the week. Each week one activity will have a badge associated with it. That's the main activity for the week. When you've completed it, you can tick the box for the activity to earn the badge. Badges act a little like certificates and you can use them to demonstrate your learning, perhaps as part of your learning record. There will be several other activities throughout the week, some of them using things like Google Docs or involving working in small groups. Other activities use discussion boards and Moodle offers you several ways to manage that. If you go to the All Discussion Forums page, wait for it to load, um, and you can use the Track and Subscribed columns on this page to if you ask Moodle to track a forum for you, it will highlight new posts and tell you when there are new unread ones. If you subscribe to a post, you will receive emails telling you when new messages have been posted. The default setting is that when you post to a discussion board, the system subscribes you, you automatically, but you can change that as you post. This can get a bit overwhelming after a while, so if you go to your profile settings down the side here and go to Edit Profile, I will be sending you there in week one anyway to give us some information about your profile, to share some information about yourself there. Um, you can see mine down here. Um, you have the option to receive email digests. You can either opt for no digest, which sends you one email per forum post, a complete daily digest, which gives you full details of every post, but all in one message just once a day. Or you can have a subject-only digest, which just gives you the subjects but not the full details. So you can choose which one of those best suits you for um, the way you prefer to work. For now I'm just going to click update profile, not that I've made any changes here, and then go back to the main course. The last part of each week's content, scrolling down to the bottom, is a page of readings for the week, and we'll always mark one of the readings with a star. So if you only read one thing this week, always read the one with a star. If you're taking the course for assessment, you might wish to read more of the readings, particularly if you're looking at uh, areas around that week's topic for your assignment. Um, for more information about the assessment, you can look at the tab for P7048 information. That's the module number in the Brooks system. And that will give you more information about the assignment. There will be a drop box, how to get information about um, formative feedback and so on and the module guide is there too. Finally, if you're having any problems with the course, if any of the technology isn't working for you, you can go to the technical problems board and post your question there, and one of the tutors or perhaps one of the other participants will be able to help you.